everyone what's up welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new today i'm so excited to be doing a get ready with me it's been so long since i've done one um sometime i think like around april and i've just been craving doing one of these for so long but i haven't been gotten like full glam for anything in a while so i'm super excited and i'm gonna try to be trying out some new products that i recently got and i have my holiday party tonight for work so the vibe is definitely like holiday glam but i just don't really know what direction that's gonna take yet so stay tuned but i also do have new products like i said that i want to try out some of them i have used a little bit but it'll be nice because i feel like my get ready with me's are typically like the same products through and through and i don't really change much up however i do have some newer products that i've been using for a little bit that i do love and i will be trying some new things for the first time um as well as like brushes and stuff so excited for that but before we get started let's take care of some housekeeping items make sure you're subscribed and you have your post notifications turned on so you don't miss an upload and be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it and I'm a makeup channel now so let me know if you like these videos not really but i do love doing these videos a lot and i want to do a lot more um of makeup related videos just like once a month or every other month whatever i can manage follow me on social media link down below it's all linked down below um i'm on tiktok i'm doing vlogmas on tiktok right now and on instagram reels which has been really fun so it's a good time and check out my podcast too it's called in bloom podcast and it's available everywhere but Cheers to getting the housekeeping stuff out of the way. This is my pregame jink of toys. I had like a really late heavy Mexican lunch, so I am very full and I had a margarita, so I don't really want to drink a lot because I'm going to be driving and I don't know. I drank a lot during like Thanksgiving and the week after Thanksgiving when I went on a girl's trip, so I'm just like over it right now and I'm like, I need some protein. So we're doing a yogurt drink as our get ready drink of choice. I feel like I need coffee, but like I'm not about to drink a coffee. So we're just gonna do the yogurt. I don't know why you don't drink, drink coffee. Right now? Yeah. You're gonna be up late anyways. I know, but like... What? I don't know. I just don't think it'll go good with the alcohol. <sighs> okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, I just tugged at my drink and I wanted to post an Instagram story and have you guys vote on what type of look I'd be doing because I was really torn on doing like my like everyday type of look just like with a little bit more depth. Natural holiday glam, I guess, or if I wanted to do something different like actually for the holidays. And I am wearing red tonight, so I wanted to kind of like play off of that. And so far, at first it was 50-50, but red is wedding now. So we're gonna do the red, I think. And I'll double check right before I start. I've done my skincare, um, but I do, this is like outside of my skincare, but like pre-makeup still. Love the LLU's beauty oil. I bought another one during Ulta's um, Black Friday sale. Love it so much. It's what like makes me so glowy right now. And I just feel like makeup really glides on really nicely after it. And I think I'm actually gonna do my eyes first. I never do this, but I did it the last time I did like full glam and I was like, why don't I do this more often? So we're gonna do that. And I'm going to prime them with my NARS concealer. This is the um, Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Creme Brulee. Um, I have a Fresh Beauty Blender Real Technique Sponge, which is like the best feeling ever when they're nice and fresh. Um, but really just trying to conceal the like darkness of my eyes. And also I need you guys to completely ignore the fact that, which you probably can't tell too badly, my brows are really grown out. Um, I'm getting them threaded again next week. I got them threaded for the first time like three weeks ago and I definitely am gonna keep doing it. Um, I think I could probably stop at a point once I feel like I have my um, shape kind of like sorted out, which it almost is. I just think that like part of it needs to grow back a little bit. So I'm going next week. So just ignore that my brows are a little out of whack. I'm gonna use this setting powder slash highlighter brush that I also got during the Ulta sale from Real Techniques. We have several new brushes I'm going to be trying. I have one kind of like this from Morphe, but it's not as dense. And I like to use it for highlighter, so I wanted a separate one for concealer um, and setting like under my under eyes because I don't like to use a super fluffy brush. So I'm using this to set just so that the eyeshadow goes on more smoothly um, so that we have a really nice base to work with and i just used my say setting powder um to 
set the concealer. This is the Air Set Radiant Loose Setting Powder. I really like this, um, especially like for the under eyes and stuff, but I also really love the Hourglass um, Translucent Setting Powder, the Veil. This is really good. I'm almost out of this though, and I like this kind of for all over the face. Um, but I have two different powders right now. So also having a vanity is like the best thing ever. I missed it so much. I didn't have one in like any of my last, really, I haven't, I don't think I've had a vanity since my sophomore year of college, like at all, like a setup. I've just been getting ready like out of my makeup bag on the floor or like in my bathroom. And I forgot how great this is because it makes me like love and really look forward to sitting down and doing my makeup. I don't do it any more than I used to, but I just like really look forward to it, so. Okay, everyone's still saying red holiday vibes is what they wanna, what the crowd wants to see. Oh my gosh, you guys, I don't even know if I have red. What did I do? I said red holiday vibes, the drama. No, the drama is that I don't even have red eyeshadow. What am I doing? Oh no. Okay, I have this. This is the most random product. Oh my God. I, this is what I did for the Rose Bowl forever ago. Okay, we're gonna have to like play with this one and play with some other stuff. I think we're just gonna keep it neutral with the browns, but then just have a pop of red. I was originally planning on doing like a full out red situation, but I just don't have the makeup I thought I had for that. So I have been loving doing the TikTok trick for eyeshadow because I feel like eyeshadow has been my Achilles heel for my whole life. I start off, I'm using my NARS um, Summer Unrated palette and I'm gonna use this like top left shade right here. I love this palette so much and I love the um, colors in it. I love the big mirror, it's great. But what I was saying is I've been loving this TikTok trick where you use your eyelash curler for your like crease to apply it just cause it makes it like a lot more clean. And I've just been loving it because I feel like this was my, such a struggle when I was like starting out doing makeup. I just always thought that I had like all the wrong brushes, when in reality, like I was just like using way too heavy of a hand and just didn't really know placement. But I'm using this just so we have like a good base um, for the rest of the eyeshadow. Cause this is like a very neutral, brown. I'm kind of like blending it out a little bit because I don't want it to be like too precise. But this is definitely a really good trick if you're just starting out with makeup or if you just are intimidated by your eyeshadow. Like I know for me, like I just never would go like dark and deeper with eyeshadow because I was just so scared of like doing that on my eyes. This makes it a little bit easier to work with because it gives you that perfect shape. And if you just use a light hand, you can pretty much make it work. I'm gonna be really annoying and use colors from different palettes, so I'm very sorry, but I feel like this is just what I have to do given the circumstances. I'm gonna go in with this I Heart Revolution Strawberry Sprinkles palette that I used for the Rose Bowl. I don't know if this is still available, but it's actually really good for traveling because it comes with several shades, and I bought this just for the Rose Bowl, and it just broke in my hand. Good for traveling unless it breaks, but um, I am going to use, I think, just a mix of these two reds that are darker and kind of just like deepen up the crease and outer V a little bit. this little Vanity Planet smudging brush and I'm actually going to do this same red right here, the non-shimmery one, and I'm actually gonna put this all over my lid just because I want this to be dark, moody, smoky. I was just gonna do like this and then just do this red and call it a day, but I was like, not enough. We need to be dramatic here. So we're packing this on the lid. I think it's gonna turn out just fine. It's gonna blend out where the lid and the crease kind of meet. So it's more blended. Now I wanna go in with like a deeper brown. So I'm going to dig into one of these other palettes. I'm gonna use this ColourPop um, Sweet Talk palette. I'm gonna use this brown right here because it's definitely like more of like a cherry brown. 
Um, I was gonna use a different one, but it was like a true brown. So I want more of like a deep brown. And we're just going to deepen up the crease and outer V a little bit more with my MAC 217. blending a lot just because I want I'm really scared of this looking like black eyes so blending and blending and blending now I think I'm gonna go in with this like fire red I really don't want to use this fire red because I feel like it's just not the same red as my dress that I'm wearing so that kind of concerns me I'm going to use my usual because I don't want to mix up the reds like this would clash for sure with my dress now that I think about it whereas these like complement it well so I'm just gonna keep the red we have going now it's more of like a red brown and oh my god I just traveled with this so it just spilled on me it's too expensive to lose like this and I need a makeup wipe like now Anyways, other side of that Vanity Planet smudging brush, I'm gonna go in with my completely shattered hourglass um, loose like glitter shadow. What is this called? Scattered light glitter eyeshadow in the shade Smoke. This is like the best thing that's ever happened to me. I always get compliments on my eye makeup when I'm wearing it. And I typically like my usual everyday makeup, this is like what makes it look good. Um, Cause I typically literally just do my bronzer in my crease and then this and some shadow brown liner and it's just the best so we're going to pack that on if you really want it dramatic you can like wet your brush and I like to pull it above my lid just to give the illusion of a more open lid which I've definitely seen somebody talk about before on like TikTok or something so credit to whoever did that but I'm sure it's not like a one person thing I'm pretty sure that everybody knows that so See how that just like opened up my eye a bunch? Yeah, we're gonna do that. So just focusing it on like the inner half of my lid and then going in a little bit above the inner half. And dragging it out just a tad. And then I'm going to take my original It Cosmetics blending brush that we did the original brown shade in and just kind of blend the harsh lines a little bit. And then we're gonna go back in with the MAC 217 and the deeper reds and just add a touch more to the outer part. And the key here is to just hold a very light hand because you don't want to put too much in one spot and you really want it to be diffused and smoky as possible. I'm really trying to give like a dark outer eye and a much more bright inner eye. I'm blending it just a little bit over where we brought the shimmer light up just because you don't want it to be like a harsh line right there. And then blending one more time. Blend, blend, blend. And then going in one more time with the smudge brush and doing just a touch more of the glitter eyeshadow because it does kind of, I find, transfer and come off if you blend other eyeshadows with it out too much. We don't want that to be the case because we want it to show up and show out. With my Smashbox Primerizer, I think this comes in completely different packaging now. I literally bought this like two years ago and I'm just now running out. So putting this all over my face, I was a good primer that's nice and hydrating. It's actually so warm in Houston right now. Like it's literally 78 degrees outside and I'm about to go to a freaking Christmas party. What are we doing? Going in with my Ordinary High Adherence Silicone Primer. I like to think that this makes my, my makeup stay on my face more, but who knows if it actually works because I simply can't tell ya. And then we're gonna go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter because we love looking like a glazed donut, truly. I think one of my favorite things about getting my eyebrows started is I never feel the need to like fill in my brows or do them because there's so much more of an even shape now. And honestly, I didn't really ever do them that much before, but I felt like I needed to a lot of times. Like sometimes I'd be doing my makeup and I would just be like, man, my brows are just like not even, like you can really tell today. And I would like fill them in and then I just felt like I wouldn't look like myself because I don't normally do that. So 
yeah, I love that I just can do brow gel and be done. Foundation, I'm not going in with anything new, um, unfortunately. I ordered the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. Y'all have been wanting this foundation for so long, and I finally ordered it because Sephora randomly did 20% off everything the other day with a code. So I was like, okay, sign me up. I'm gonna get the things that I've been wanting now, which I think I just got, I wanna say I got maybe like a body wash in the foundation, I don't know. Um, so I finally got the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation, but it's not here yet, so I can't try it in this video, unfortunately. So I'm just using my Tried and True um, Luminous Silk Giorgio Armani Foundation in the shade five. Um, I do like this foundation a lot, but I've been dying to try the NARS Light Reflecting for so long, and I've been putting it off because I'm like, I don't need foundation, and I've been trying really hard to not just like buy makeup just because I want to try it. Like I'm like, if I have foundation, I don't need to buy it. If I have like concealer, I don't need to buy concealer, like that kind of thing. Just like trying not to like hoard a lot of one type of product, you know? But it went on sale and I was like, I've been wanting this for like, since it came out, which was like definitely more than six months ago. So I'm like, if I've been wanting it for this long and it's on sale right now, why not just get it? So I got it and I shouldn't have, but I did get it. To use my It Cosmetics Lovest Foundation Brush to sort of smooth all that foundation out. And then I'm gonna go in with the Beauty Blender or Girl Technique Sponge to really just set all of that in since I feel like I just smudged it around for a bit. And then I'm going in with the Kosas um, Revealer Concealer in the shade 1.5C. And I'm gonna do like a really small amount of that on my under eyes, just kind of the areas I'm trying to brighten up a little bit. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put the NARS concealer we used earlier on my blemishes, because I do have a few little pimples coming through that are playing around with me. So we gotta put them in their place. I'm gonna use my Pro Concealer 71 brush from Sephora, because I feel like I can like manipulate where it goes a little bit more when I use a brush and then just tap it in with a sponge from there. I also don't really want to drink tonight because I booked a spin class for tomorrow morning at 9.30 like a week ago because I haven't been to spin in like a month and it's like breaking my heart because I just miss the people and I miss the place. But I have been loving F45 literally so much because it just changes so much. Like every month they get a new setup of workouts for each day and then every day is like every Monday during the month will be like the same structure, but it'll be different moves every Monday, if that makes sense. So it's like constantly changing. I feel like that's what I need because I just get so bored so quickly with like most um, workout places. And I haven't necessarily gotten bored with spin and I wasn't, it's just more so, it's so much more of a commute for me now that I just never like can convince myself to go when I have to drive like as far as I do. And it's like twice as far as it was from me before and it's like I have to be on the interstate for the whole time and there's always traffic so it's just not a good time. And I'm just blending out all that concealer with my sponge. And I got this Real Techniques Blend and Set set from, it's their Miracle Complexion Sponge and the Miracle Powder Sponge. So I've been using the Complexion Sponge but I wanted to try out this powder sponge really badly because I normally just use like an old beauty blender that I don't get wet for my powder. This one's specifically like a different texture. It's kind of velvety. So we're gonna try this out. I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself cause I was just about to set my under eyes but I haven't even done like my cream, bronzer, blush and all of that jazz. So let's take care of that first. This is a new cream bronzer. This is not my first time trying it um, but it is very new to me. Like I haven't been using it very long. And it's the Anastasia Beverly Hills in the shade Golden Tan. And it's like a cream bronzer, but in like a pot. So I'm just using my It Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe Complexion Perfection brush, which I love for like cream bronzer and stuff. And really just patting it into the cream bronzer. And I'm going to just tap it on. And I try to go a little bit higher than my cheekbone and then just sort of blend upwards, like almost stippling it. So as you can see, it's just sitting like a little bit above my cheekbone. I don't know where my flipping cheekbone is. My cheekbone's like right here, but it's in like a weird spot, so. Mm -hmm. 
And then just doing the forehead. Just do a little bit on the forehead, nothing crazy. I kind of like to do the excess on the brush on the forehead because I don't want it to be too much. I don't like putting a lot of product on my forehead because I do definitely have some like pretty hard set, fine set lines on my forehead now. And I like to do everything I can to like make it not look like they're there, which involves not putting much product. And then I'm gonna like contour my nose, but very messily. I just kind of go along the sides with the other end of the brush and then I'll blend it out. I'm gonna kind of go on the tip a little bit across the middle. I need to get a clip for Vlogmas of me getting ready because I can't leave out any form of content. I'm gonna do my jawline just a little bit. Bring it up a little bit. I definitely feel like I should use this cream blush because it kind of goes with that vibe, like the darker, moodier, cooler toned. I don't know, this eyeshadow is like warm toned and I feel like this is pretty cool tone. This is a rare beauty blush. Part of me really wants to try this pixie stick because it's new. This like went viral on TikTok a while ago and I got it during the old sale as well because it was on sale, I think it was like 30% off. The pixie um, on the glow blush. It's a tinted moisture stick. So really it's just like a tinted blush. I don't really think it's, should I do this? I'm so nervous. What do you think this looks like guys? Let me put on my hand. Actually, I think this might be good. Cause I feel like this has a little bit more to it. Okay, we're gonna do this, but I don't know. It's kind of like a really cool, like popsicle <laughs> chopstick type of applicator. But I don't really know if I want to put it on like that. I think people do it like this. Um, what do I do, guys? I don't, I'm just going to do it on the brush first because this is just really scaring me. I'm going to put her on the apple of my cheeks. Pretty. It definitely has good pigment for it being like a drugstore product, you know? I have been really conflicted lately about where to put my blush because I'm like, I feel like when I put it way up here, which I feel like is like the trend, it just like makes my face look wider sometimes, but then other times I'm like, oh no, it looks good. So I just keep confusing myself with what looks good and what doesn't look good. But I know for sure I like it under my eyes a lot because um, I feel like it masks like the um, darkness I have under my eyes when I do more blush under my eyes. So I definitely like to do most of it concentrated under the eyes and then I just bring it out a little bit to above here, like above where my contour is. And then I would like to do a little on my nose too. Tapped a little bit just so we could have a little bit more pigment. Cause I like to go crazy with the blush, that is for sure. Okay, I actually like that I did that because I wanted to use a new product really badly but I was really nervous that this was not gonna look good. I'm gonna go in with my cream highlighter, which I love and I left, I think the cap is at my parents' house in Florida, honestly. But I just like to do like a pump for each side of my face and I use my beauty blender sponge and I just, you really wanna work with this stuff quick cause I feel like it, dries and I do directly under my eye and then I do this high point right here, this right here, under my brow and I just try to like blend it because I used to just like stripe this onto my face but now I've like learned okay like let's do the high point of my cheek, the high point of my cheekbone, high point of my forehead, that kind of thing. And then I'll do my lower little bridge of my nose and then the upper bridge of my nose as well because we want those to be glowy and then I do one more pump which you can really get away with one pump for both sides of the face but I really like to be glowy so I like to do like two little half pumps on both sides because I feel like that's just what I like best for my face and then we have the cream bronzer cream blush cream highlight all on and we're gonna layer it with powder but first we're gonna set um, the under eye area and everything we did because we don't want this going anywhere. I think I'm actually going to use this hourglass powder on my um, big eco tools brush and I'm going to use this for like my cheek and neck and stuff because I don't have enough for under my eyes so I have to do something else for under my eyes. We'll use the same powder for under my eyes since I have more of it 
It is a radiant setting powder, so that is the vibe for sure. Having a bright under eye, but I do feel like this one feels more cakey. Like, I don't wanna say it feels more cakey because it's definitely not cakey by any means. I just think I can feel this powder on my face more than I can feel this one. Um, but maybe I've used too much of this in the past, which is absolutely could be the case. The powder on here, and it like really caked on the powder sponge. I'm gonna do under my contour. Oh my gosh, this is so weird. The texture of this is literally velvet. And it feels so soft on my skin, which is like a good thing, but it's just funny because it feels so different from what I'm used to. I totally have a hair in the way right now. Use the setting powder brush that I got actually, and I'm going to use the powder and then I'll press it out with the sponge. I just don't want to have a heavy under eye like at all. So I'm literally keeping this confined to where I put the concealer. I feel like I normally carry it a lot further out and down, so. But what I will do with the sponge on my eye is carve out my shadow, because we're gonna do a wing in a second, and I want everything to be nice and sharp. I feel nice and lifted, and I'm gonna dust all that away. I'm gonna use the Hourglass Dim Light Powder in the shade, or Ambient Powder in the shade Dim Light and brush this everywhere else. I don't mind putting this powder on everywhere because it just makes everything really radiant without feeling like you have like a thick layer of powder on. So I like to use this to like dust off any um, baking I do or just to set everywhere in general. I'm gonna use this little brush to sort of dust off where we sharpened the shadow up a bit. And then I'm gonna blend the edge just a tad with this brush, the Morphe brush that we were using earlier, just so it's not so, so sharp. Okay, and now that that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and do the shadow liner. What do we think about doing a purpley liner? Is that too much? I feel like this has some purple tones in it though. Like it's giving plum and this powder, or this liner is plum. This is the Pixie by Petra liner and purple liner is like supposed to like let me not throw my makeup okay i want to use this liner but it is not the caps not coming off you guys this is a new this is the endless silky eye pen in the shade um deep plum but i genuinely don't think i can use it because it does not like the lid does not want to come off looks like we're going to be using the urban decay pencil which is totally fine i still love it and honestly i don't know if i've used it on camera before but i'm going to sharpen it really quickly like i said this is a 24 7 liner in the shade yeah this is corrupt and it's a really pretty like sparkly plummy brown i'm using the sonia kashuk um just a little angled brow and spoolie brush and sometimes I draw it on the brush and sometimes I draw it on my eye and just because I'm wanting to take my time and be a little bit more precise I'm going to do it on the brush and for my winged liner I used to go up and I've been going straight out instead and just really liking that more um so that's what we're doing here so yeah as you can see we just have a line straight out instead of going up like it's like straight from my eye and then i'm going to work on connecting it a little bit and blending it out and then i just kind of like carry it along my lash line a bit taking in the liner all the way to the inner corner which i'm very lazy about sometimes and with that one little line i drew i really just try to take the brush and kind of like very lightly smudge and smoke it up so that it just blends instead of adding more product to the brush because we don't want it to like become like this just dark blob on the outside of our eye. So it's a lot better to work with what we have down already and then add more if we need to. I just feel like it makes like the most perfect wing and I don't like too dramatic of a wing because it makes my eyes look a lot smaller. We're gonna do the other eye. Once again, just going straight out as much as possible. Okay, so I just kind of like roughly drew a line on and I'm going to smoke it all out now. I really just take the liner brush and just, I'm basically moving it along exactly where I put the liner and it just kind of naturally brings it up and smokes it out for me. I always struggle on this eye though. 
Let me freaking tell you. But since we totally messed doing the lower lash line for shadow, I'm going in with the like more matte red and I'm just going to put this under the eye all the way. And I'm gonna, um, I'm just gonna really make the eye look a lot more cohesive. And then I'm going to go in with the brown that I use as well, just so it like fully matches. What did I even use? Like, where am I? What day is it? I don't know what I did. Oh, right here. So with that same like more burgundy maroon, doing the outer part since I just did that red everywhere. And then this will help connect the liner to the shadow as well. So we just want it to be connected with the top as much as possible without adding more product once again. I'll just really deepen it up and then I'm gonna take my little blending brush and just blend it out so it's not super harsh. I feel like we're in a good spot now and I'm gonna do my mascara. Um, I wanna do falsies, but I genuinely don't know where my falsies are right now. They're probably right underneath me. They're right underneath me. <laughs> I am gonna use my Ardell Lash Trio. Yeah, I'm gonna use the medium length ones only on the outer part of my eye. That's the only place I'm gonna put fake lashes. And I'll just use my um, Super Stronghold Black Eyelash Adhesive from Kiss, I think. Also, I feel like I need to use this brush that had the red on it one more time and connect everything a little bit better. Okay, yeah, that looks good. Here's a look at the eyes so far. Also, do you guys like this lighting? Do you think it could be better? I have like my yellowy bathroom lights on, but I also have a little tripod that has a bright, like crisp white light. I forgot to use my Charlotte Tilbury powder and I'm literally gonna use barely any of this, like just a touch and I'm gonna go right under, like and kind of just set my more porous spots because I feel like that powder does a really good job at airbrushing everything. Get the little lash guy all situated and then we're gonna Put in some of this glue, which I feel like is so just not good. It's nice because it like blends in with your lash line, I guess, but it sucks when you get it on your eyeshadow and then you have a big black dot. So we're gonna wait on her to dry. See, that's like not even on right in the slightest. Okay, it took a second, but I actually think this one's on kind of good. It's a little bit sideways, but. I don't think it's gonna get any better than the way it is right now. Going to this holiday party is about to be so weird. Not everyone I work with is going, but I do know like two of my work friends are for sure going, so that's good. But I, it's just funny because I feel like I only know what the partners, like certain partners look like. And then like, because I've seen them in office and then my like friends that I started with and the other staff that started a little bit before me and the staff who started after me, Everyone in between, I'm like, who are you? Because I feel like seniors and managers never go in office. I mean, I don't go in office that often, but I've been in enough to know who other staff are and to know what who like certain partners are and everything. So it's just gonna be so weird. Cause like, it'll be really weird if I'm like introducing myself to someone and then before I know it, I'm like, oh my gosh, I work with you on a ton of stuff, but you don't have a picture. We've never done a video call and I've never seen you in person. So I'm just now learning what you look like. Like it's so, weird these times that we're in. Yeah, I did pretty good on this one too. Oh my gosh, look at me go. I'm in with my liquid lash extensions mascara from Tri Thrive Cosmetics, which is my favorite because it's so easy to take off and doesn't give me raccoon eyes and it doesn't clump and it just makes my lashes nice and lengthy. If you haven't figured out by now, I am gonna have everything linked down below that I use. I might do it on my shop mine and just be like holiday glam, get ready with me video, like do a shelf called that so that all the products are in one spot instead of like separate little links in the description box. And I'm just doing a little bit on the lower lash line, but I'm really trying to focus it on just the outer part of my eye so we can keep the eyes looking nice and wide and open. I think we're good on the eyes. I'll curl the lashes again in a second, but not right now. Um, we want them to dry a good bit. I love butter bronzer, but sometimes I just want a little bit more than what butter bronzer is giving. And I have my Dior palette and I like this, but I can't tell if the bronzer is patchy or if my brushes are making it patchy. So I'm trying a whole new brush and I'm like 
going for more of a bronze rather than like a contour today because there's definitely a difference so we're going to bronze and i'm going to use this powder brush from real techniques this is for powder but i feel like it's got a really good shape to do like a nice contour but like not harsh you know what i mean like keep it nice and bronze so we're going to go in with the Too faced sun bunny bronzer um i'm gonna swirl this baby around you know what i should have used the dior bronzer because that would be a true telling sign that if if it's the bronzer why did i say that so weird if i would have used a brand new brush on the bronzer i would have been able to tell if it's the bronzer that's patchy or if it's my brush that's been making it patchy but i'm an idiot and i didn't think of that so we're just gonna use a new brush and honestly i don't want to risk my makeup being patchy for this anyway so i'm just gonna ooh. I'm just like with a very light hand putting this where I have my cream bronzer. Okay, wait, this might be like my new favorite bronzer situation. Cause I feel like that like really, once I got product on it, I feel like this is so good for bronzer. Cause it's like a one and done. Like I'm like barely having to blend anything. It just kind of blends itself just because of the shape of it. I am pulling it up a little bit, but other than that, I'm like not having to do anything. I really like this brush. If you have, if you struggle with like placement of bronzer or contour or anything, definitely recommend trying this brush out just because if you just stick it where you want it to go, it'll diffuse it for you just from the shape of it. I'm gonna cover my neck because I'm pretty sure my like, neck and chest shows a lot in this dress. So we need to bronzer up because my face is gonna be a lot darker from the warming up we've been doing. And then I'm gonna go in with blush. I did get another blush brush and I don't really know why. I think I was convinced from the reviews because this blush was really cheap during the sale. I have a really good blush brush, but sometimes I just think it needs to be less dense. I'm loving the Charlotte Tilbury Ecstasy Chic to Chic Powder blush. And um, this is also new, y'all haven't seen me use before, but I got this from Katie Fawn's recommendation and it is so, good like it is just everything to me and i love it i love her it's seriously just such a good blush for so many reasons but i feel like it's perfect the perfect shade like it can go with any look but i also feel like it just oh i don't know so I just packed that really tightly on my cheeks and I don't want it to look like, you know, clown circles. So I am gonna kind of blend it out a little bit so it's not too stuck in one spot. Okay, and now I am gonna do a little bit of highlighter even though I don't really need it. I think I'm gonna do this mauve highlighter um, instead of my Benefit cookie, just to use something different that I haven't used in a while. And I think I'm gonna use, I know I've been using this to blend out my eyeshadow, but Whatever, we're gonna use it for a highlighter really quick. I just pray that there's no eyeshadow on it still. And do this on my high points. I want it to be more exact on my nose, so I'm just going in with my finger. And then I am gonna do a little bit of inner corner highlight. I like to use the other end of my Huda Beauty brush that we used for my um, under eye shadow and just go in on the inner corner. Okay, now that everything's like actually on my face, I like to do one quick little dust of everything just to like make sure everything's nice and blended. I feel like my nose is not very blended right now. Um, but I try to like blend it all up. Okay, and then before we set the face, I do want to go ahead and recurl the lashes. And I'm not like super intense with this. I just like to curl it so that they're going in the right direction and not just like going straight out. And with my spoolie, I'm gonna clean up anywhere I got mascara. Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't like this at first, but I think I just wasn't used to it. I was so used to the Urban Decay one, so I was like, what? I don't like this one, but I do like it. It just has taken some time to warm up too. I lost my favorite lipstick, which is my MAC Blankety. I lose, something about me and that lipstick, we are like, we just can't stay together. We're literally a toxic relationship because we just can't stay together at all. Just forgot we did not do my brow gel. So let me do that really quick. I'm just going to brush them straight up. 
and hope that they stay in place. I definitely think I could fill in a little bit, but I'm just not going to. I'm gonna use my MAC Spice lip liner because I feel like that's kind of the vibe of the whole look. Yeah, this was a good move. I don't overline a ton. I just kind of overline only on the bottom and it's only like I go on the outer edge of my lip instead of inside of it, so. Y'all, another funny thing about going to this is that I look like crap every time I go in office, I feel like. Like, typically my hair is natural. I don't have any makeup on, that kind of vibe. And I'm usually pretty sleep deprived. And it never fails that every time I go in office, somebody says to me, I didn't recognize you. Because my team's picture, I have blonde highlights a lot of blonde highlights. My hair is straight. I was really tan and I had a nose piercing. So they see me in person. They're like, who's this girl with dark curly hair that's pale? And why does she look nothing like her team's picture? Like people tell me all the time, you look nothing like your team's picture. I'm like, I don't know how to respond. And we've had other opportunities to retake headshots, but to get me to get up and get ready in the morning for a freaking headshot before going in office, no thanks. Like I should have done it when I lived really close to the office, but that is definitely not happening now that I live a lot farther. And the other day I was in office and it was right after I got my hair done. So my gloss was like dark, like dark, as dark as it is, ever is. And my hair was straight. And I had a little bit of makeup on. I didn't have any mascara or anything on. I just had like a little bit of like sunscreen and like that kind of thing on. And some of my friends are like, oh, I didn't recognize you because my hair was straight. Put on a little bit of aquaphor. So we do not want to be chapped. KKW. In the middle. Okay, so I just did this KKW shade one nude. I like don't like this with most things. This is just good if you're wanting to kind of ombre your lips out, like if you are doing like a darker liner and you just want to not really add another color but just lighten up the center it's a really good lipstick for that and i think i'm gonna do my dior lip gloss if i can find it i don't know where it is right now okay i found it it's the dior rosewood um lip maximizer this is just gonna add some berry tones back to lips because it's like full-on red right now there we go. There we have it. There's our finished look. Here is the finished look. Super glowy, super smoky. Here we are in like just the plain white lighting. And yeah, that's the finished look. I'm a little bit closer up to the white lighting now. So super quick outfit. This dress is ASTR, the label from Revolve. It's kind of old. It's a little bit bunched up right now. And then these shoes are Bellini from a boutique here in Houston. Purse is Princess Polly. Necklaces Revolve. And earrings are like Target or something. <laughs> 